In this question, signal xt is equal to 1 over a plus jt and we are required to calculate its Fourier transform x omega. Now do you remember any Fourier transform of this form? I bet you do. If you are following the lectures properly, then you must be knowing some Fourier transform of this form. If you remember, if you remember the time domain signal e power minus a t multiplied to u t where a is positive, we calculated its Fourier transform equal to 1 over a plus j omega. Now compare this Fourier transform and the time domain signal, you will find there is one difference. In place of t, we are having omega. So we will replace omega by t and we will have 1 over a plus j t. So in this way, we have the time domain signal 1 over a plus j t and from the duality property, we can say that 1 over a plus j t will have the Fourier transform 2 pi multiplied to this time domain signal when t is replaced by minus omega. So we will have e power minus a minus omega. This means we have e power plus a omega multiplied to u minus omega and here a is positive. So this is the Fourier transform of 1 over a plus jt. This is our answer x omega. So in this way you can use the property of duality to calculate the Fourier transform quickly. But for that you need to remember some basic Fourier transforms like this one. So this is all for the question and now we will move to the homework problem. In this homework problem there is time domain signal yt and it is equal to 2a divided by a square plus t square and you need to find the Fourier transform y omega. Again you need to use the duality property and for that you have to think about some Fourier transform which is similar to this time domain signal. So try to solve this question and once you have your answer, post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.